Hello, my name is Ben Rollison and I'm here to demonstrate Skydome to you, which is my new script, my first published script. It's a script that uh, creates an environment for your After Effects 3D compositions, or your After Effects 2.5D compositions. I've got a little composition here to demonstrate, which has very simple, it has a 2.5D text layer with the word Skydome on it, on it, and it has a camera. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the script from the scripts folder where I've installed it. It doesn't install into the UI panels. So I just select Skydome, run it there. There's one single option, use optics compensation, which I'm going to check. More on that later. And then I make Skydome. It's that simple. Um, what it does, it makes a composition that's uh, sized relative to your original composition to sort of optimize speed versus resolution and it has this beautiful grid in it. In your main composition that's wrapped around a CC sphere and it creates a background so that when you move around your word the, uh, the background moves with it. Now the keen ones amongst you are going to be saying hey hang on a second there's a thing called Skybox that does the same. Well that's not quite true. Um, Skybox was my, my starting point for this. And it's a cool little series of expressions, but it's uh, rather limited in how far you can go with it. And I'll just very quickly demonstrate it to you um, to sort of show you where I started out with Sky, Skydome. So this is Skybox. Um, it's three very simple lines of expression that you put on the X, Y, and Z rotation of a CC sphere. And so that when you rotate around the word, you see the background move behind it. All very cool. However, if you come around to the side and look at the west, and you're sort of getting a feel for it already, and then look from below, where you should be seeing the north, you're actually seeing the west tilted on its side. Same around the east. It doesn't really work. And as you can see, if you make any big moves around things, it feels like the camera's kind of been drinking. Um, it's pretty good as far as it goes if you want to sort of just stay around the front of a piece of text and move around it a little bit like that, it's fine. But it's not so very robust. The other thing is, it doesn't respond to the camera's zoom. The text does, but the background doesn't. And if you want to use the rotation properties of the camera, again, the text responds, but the background doesn't. You want to do a barrel roll? No hope. And also, if you come up and you take the auto-orientation of the camera off, well, then not even the position of the camera uh, changes. So uh, I got kind of frustrated with that, and that's where I started out with Skydome. First things first, you'll see that uh, you can zoom the camera, and as you'd expect, you see more of the background, and the background distorts, um, like you would expect from a very wide-angle lens. You come in on a more telephoto lens, you get very little distortion, and you see much less background. Come out on a uh, wide-angle, you get distortion and you see loads. You probably noticed the limit of wide angle you can have is a 90 degree field of view. Beyond that, you get black edges. But uh, that's a pretty crazy wide angle lens as it goes. Fish eye, you know what I mean? Now, when you're working with Skydome, there is something to remember. That distortion that you get with a wide angle lens is created by the optics compensation effect. That's what you checked the checkbox for earlier on. Now, if you take that off, it all looks very wrong. Um, the reason being, CC Sphere renders the sphere as though it were looked at through a 50mm lens. And if your camera doesn't have a 50mm lens, then um, it all looks a little bit weird. However, optics compensation does take ages to preview and to render. So while I'm working on these um, things with Skydome, I just turn optics compensation off and then pop it back on at the end. And the actual distortion has been calibrated to the output from 3D programs. So whilst it's not absolutely bang on, it's pretty much there. Let me uh, just set my camera back to a sensible zoom. There we go. So um, just to compare with Skybox, I'm going to put the Skybox background into the Sky Dome background and just uh, make that fill the composition. There we go. Now, when we come around to the side, we see east, that's good. When we come around to the other side, we see west. When we go to the top, we see north, and down at the bottom, we see south. 
But this time, if we come and look from the side and then look from below, we see north turned on its side exactly as we should. And likewise, if we go and look from the top whilst facing east, we see south from below. Just what the doctor ordered. The other thing is you can um, you can use the orientation of the camera and the text and the background respond the same. You can use the rotation properties together with the orientation or on their own and again it rotates. And as you can see you can do a barrel roll either using the rotation or the orientation. They both work. And what's more you can take the auto orientation of the camera off, move the camera around like this and it all works exactly as it should still. One last thing to do, I expect you probably are not interested in a kind of magenta grid background so let's just drop a real HDRI map in there. And what I'm going to do is um, come to this HDRI map here um, which I've downloaded from openfootage.net, a very good source of free HDRI maps incidentally amongst other things. And I'm going to drop that into my Skydome background going to just use Command Alt and F or Control Alt and F on a PC to resize it and I'm just going to put it underneath this layer flop here which flips it around and makes sure that when it's projected on the inside of a sphere that it's actually the right way around so you don't get backwards writing and so on and so forth. And there you go. You can see that as you move around you can see the floor, you can see the sky, you can see whatever you like. One little thing, I would like it so that when I come right round behind Skydome here that I see this beautiful cityscape. Now the way to do that is to come into the Skydome background, create a new adjustment layer and apply a distort offset effect to it. Um, that is the equivalent of spinning the Skydome on its y-axis. So if I just pull it over to about there Come back into the main part. Yeah, there we go. We now have the cityscape behind. If you want to adjust the uh, the tilt of, then just come into the CC sphere properties here, and you can do that. And now you'll see that the camera is always looking up at the sky. Best way, of course, is just to adjust the camera rather than just the uh, adjust the globe. Um, but that's how you do it if you need to. So there you go. That is Skydome in a nutshell. I um, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for downloading it. Thanks for listening. Uh, my name's Ben Rollison, and maybe we'll speak again soon.